speed control and starting of your household fan, flashing a light when your camera clicks, tuning into different frequencies on your radio, reducing noise from your sound systems. A small electronic device called capacitor plays a vital role in all these applications. In this video, we are going to learn about what are capacitors, how they are working, and what are its types. Welcome to Mr. Smart Engineering. Subscribe and support us in serving more contents like this to you. Have you noticed lightning strike from clouds? Where these huge amount of energy comes from? How they are stored? Naturally, the clouds and soil level is separated by non-conducting medium. This makes them statistically charged and store huge energy due to that separation. They delivers these energy when an opportunity arrives. This how the capacitors works. A capacitor is a small charge storing electronic device. It has two conductive plates separated by an insulating medium called a dielectric. Whenever the capacitor is connected to a voltage source such as battery, the positive charges accumulate on one plate and the negative charges accumulate on the other. As both plates are separated by a dielectric, an electric field is created between accumulated charges, storing electrical energy between them. The process of storing electrical energy in the capacitor is called as charging. What if the battery or voltage source is removed? The charge stored into the capacitor starts flowing back into the circuit until they vanish. This process of delivering the stored charge is known as discharging. But how much energy a capacitor can store? How can we measure it? The ability of the capacitor to store the energy is known as capacitance. Capacitance is the ratio of charge stored in the plate and the voltage applied across the plate. This is measured by a unit called farad. This is the specification that your capacitor often have. The capacitance of the capacitor is varied by several factors, such as area of the plate, distance between two plates, and type of dielectric used. That's why, in many capacitors, the plates are placed in the form of coils instead of having two straight plates. Based on type of dielectric used, the capacitors are classified as electrolytic capacitor. Ceramic capacitor, film capacitor, and tantalum capacitor. Based on dielectric used, the capacitors may be polarized, means positive and negative terminals are defined, and non polarized have no terminals predefined. Typically, electrolytic and tantalum capacitors are polarized. Ceramic and film capacitors are non polarized. Hope you have learned about capacitors, their working and their types in detail. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell button. Thanks for watching.